All right, AnyConnect and Cisco's Umbrella client. Um, we're going to show this integrated. So uh, AnyConnect uh, will deploy Umbrella when you connect at any point in time through either AnyConnect or the initial uh, uh, deployment uh, through uh, the web browser. Say you connect to our VPN head end, um, it realizes you does not you don't do not have the client, uh, and it'll push it out as well as Umbrella. Um, so what you can see here is currently I am on a untrusted network um, and therefore um, the Cisco Umbrella kicks in and is protecting me, right? So if I wanted to validate that I'm actually protected, um, there's a couple URLs that I could uh, very quickly come to. A um, couple of bad ones here. Let's do a quick check. And you can see, you know, the Cisco Umbrella uh, client is actually functioning. And you can see some details here. So th that's that's good. And, and that's what we expect at this, this stage. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to connect to VPN. And what's going to happen here is that the client, I'm just getting uh, my token here. that over what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna connect and it's gonna check and it's gonna realize I'm on a trusted network and and the client at that point can turn off because I'm using the uh, umbrella instance uh, at the uh, organization level so you can see the VPNs active again no no interaction for the user whatsoever um, but again uh, I'm still being protected um, using the corporate umbrella instance right so um, that's good um, that's working as expected um, the other thing that we have is uh, so now it's on uh, or off sorry uh, but the VPN is connected um, the other cool thing we have is uh, auto reconnect so and this is specifically on the VPN uh, side so what I'm gonna do here is very quickly bounce uh, my uh, wireless connection and automatically the moment I do that it starts reconnecting the VPN client again the user wouldn't even see this uh, this would all be transparent to them so let me just bring that back up uh, and again it's just checking the connection state to see whether or not it should be enabled or disabled um, at this point, it realizes it's on a trusted network again, and it, it, it disables it. So if I was to disconnect it now, um, it should, if, based on the connection that I'm uh, connected to, it should realize again that I'm not being protected by uh, the uh, organization's instance of Umbrella. Uh, it's therefore going to turn back on, right? The other thing that um, I'm able to do is if I bounce back to the corporate network, uh, for example, uh, whether it's just a Wi-Fi connection uh, using the corporate SSID or it's a, um, a LAN connection that I plug into, it, it realizes that I'm actually connected um, to the corporate instance and um, and uh, I, I, as, uh, it'll end up turning off as well. So, so here we'll, we'll do that real quick. I'm going to connect to our... Uh, corporate instance here and uh, I will not have VPN connected and what will happen is very quickly it, it says that uh, you know what you're, you're connected uh, to that corporate head end uh, the, the, the umbrella client doesn't necessarily need to be on so so it turns off again all transparent to the user um, and that's uh, and and to deploy it, I'll, I'll probably throw up another video uh, after it. It's it's fairly simple. You go into Umbrella, you get the JSON file. You go into the ASA uh, or FTD, for instance, and um, you will uh, associate a profile uh, to push the Umbrella module out uh, to the AnyConnect uh, user. Um, so that's uh, integration um, with uh, Cisco AnyConnect and, and Umbrella, making security easy. Thanks.